Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're going to work on finding limits with infinity using the graph. Now remember, for uh, limits involving infinity, there are actually two different types. Okay, so we'll look at ones where the x will be approaching infinity, and we'll hope that our function approaches a value. And we'll also be looking at ones where x is approaching a value, but the function actually wants to go to infinity or negative infinity. So watch for key features of the graph uh, as we're observing, uh, say, this example. All right. So I have a pretty funky graph. You can see that it has lots of breaks and gaps. And we're just going to try and examine it as much as possible and see if we can compute all of these limits. All right, let's start at the top. So this first one says, what is the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of our function? Okay, so let's find 2 on our x-axis. Here we are. And we're approaching 2 from the right side. Well, if we look at our function as we're approaching 2, Notice how it just gets arbitrarily large. It just keeps going up and up and up. So this is an indication that the limit would be at infinity. All right? Now, just because it's approaching infinity as we go from 2 on the right side doesn't mean that that also has to happen on the left side. In fact, look at the next one. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left. Well, as we're going on the left side, this just simply wants to approach the value of 2. So it is possible to get an infinity on one side and not on the other. All right, let's do some more. Uh, this next one says uh, the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right side. Here's our negative 6. We're approaching from the right side. And now we can see that our function is getting large but negative. So this one is going towards negative infinity. Okay, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and approach uh, x uh, let's have x approach negative 6 from the left side. So here's our negative 6 again. As we go from the left side, now we're just getting really large. So that one goes towards infinity. All right. So notice how in these ones, x was always approaching some sort of number, and we're either doing it from the left or right side. In these last two, x will be approaching infinity or x will be approaching a negative infinity. So imagine going down that x-axis all the way down to infinity, or approaching uh, negative infinity, again, along the x-axis. All right, so what is happening as x uh, goes towards infinity? Well, our function does a lot of crazy things, but as we get down here, and imagine you know, continuing on into infinity, it looks like it just wants to be the value of 1. So we'd say that as we're approaching infinity, uh, our function wants to be 1. Now, as we're going in the other direction towards negative infinity, again, we got lots of crazy stuff here, but the very tail end of this function, as we get uh, towards negative infinity, that looks like it simply wants to be a 5. So again, notice for these last two, x is approaching infinity or negative infinity, but we're getting a number as its value. All right, so trying to interpret the graph, be very careful. Uh, watch for things that involve infinity by really trying to see where the function wants to go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.